Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now. Well, it looks like Jean Pascal has joined the Hall of Fame of Pharmacist alongside with his brother Gerald Big Baby Miller, Big Pharmacist Miller. So, Battle Jack announced recently that uh, he said, I quote right here, my fight with Jim Pascal is off as he tested positive for three different steroids. We suspected he was dirty the first time around and VADA testing confirmed it this time. I'm still fighting on June 6th and my team is looking for a replacement. Replacement opponent, Alhamdulillah. And what did he test a positive for? Mike Coppinger then went on to break it down. Jim Pascal tested positive for a sample of uh, some, uh, the, uh, a sample reviewed adverse findings for the banned substances epitrembolone, drosanolone, and drosanolone metabolite. I will tell you right now, bro, I don't know what, uh, what those things are, what it does to the body, but this is really, really, really a shame. The Hall of Fame of Pharmacists, Jim Pascal, joins the Hall of Fame of ph Pharmacists. It's really, really a shame. What do you make of this, Tad Jagwe? Jim Pascal is not, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, this guy has failed a drug test in the past before. Um, you know, it's it's amazing that, you, listen, the, the, the fight with Badu Jack, everybody, that fight should have went to Badu Jack anyways, and they, but they ended up giving it to, um, they giving it to Pascal. And we kind of figured Pascal might have been on juicing because he wasn't even Vada tested last time. Now they Vada tested him before. It was it, they they confirmed it and they Vada tested him again and now it was confirmed that he's found more that he's been found um, guilty of multiple uh, of multiple substances within his body. Um, it's it's funny you listen. He's he's a pretty he he's he the guy's been in the game for such a long time, you know, and listen, he's I I think he's at least forty, you know. Has he ever been has he has he ever been vada tested? That's the I if I'm not mistaken, I'm look I've been I'm I've been trying to find the 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 um. The, the the previous things of him failing the drug test, you know, because I think he's failed before in the past. If I'm not mistaken, I keep I can't remember against who, but yet he has failed against he has failed in the past. It's funny because he also accused um, uh, what's this guy uh, from uh, uh, of taking uh, 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 drugs to uh, back in the day when he was when they fought him and Bernard, um, Bernard Hopkins. Yeah, Bernard Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's also he's also accused of Bernardo Hopkins. He was going crazy about about that, and then all of a sudden, um, you know, this comes up, and then he fails. Listen, I'm I'm not gonna take anything away from Jim Pascal. The guy's a the guy's a hard worker. You know, he was he was something to be feared back in the day. He, listen, when you fought that guy, you 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 really have to you really have to fight that guy. You know, a, a, a lot of a lot of some people couldn't hang on, but only some people could could have could have could have, could have, could have um, held their own against them. You know, but listen, the guy was a tough ass monster, but I don't think he was that good. You know, but he couldn't he couldn't hack it against some people, and you know, he the the Badu Jack is a, is an excellent fighter, a very skilled fighter. He's let me say he's more of a, a, a very a technical tactician of a fighter. So when he when uh when he lost to when he lost to that Badu Jack when they met back 
back in 2019, it, it, everybody knew uh, Badu Jack won that fight. And the judges ended up giving to him. And Badu Jack team wanted to know if um, if this guy was VADA tested. And he wasn't VADA tested last fight. And then all of a sudden, like now he's um, he's VADA tested. And it proved that, you know, he might have... He might have cheated in the last fight. Hey man, hanging hanging around with Jake Paul, the the the, the whatever the name is. These, we all know these guys take drugs. They do. There's no denying. They absolutely take drugs, and they haven't been body tested yet. So you hang around them long enough, you're gonna be you're gonna be a walking uh, factory full of full of full of uh, uh, substances. You know. Uh, unfortunately, the fight now is canceled and. Badu Jack is left without a dancing partner. So let's see what happens. I honestly believe that's it for Bob. That's it for, uh, how do I say, Jean, Jean Pascal? That's how you say his name? Or, Jean Pascal, Jean Pascal, Jean Pascal. Anyway, I, I need how you say yeah. it, bro. Or you can say yeah. uh, Jean Pharmacist Pascal. <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's how it is, man. So, you know, uh, honestly believe they, they they take a light they take it too light on these guys and the guy they listen the guy's like almost 40 what what is he gonna do now they got they're gonna they're gonna have to ban him when they're gonna when are they gonna start taking this uh fighting game serious with these guys popping up with so much stuff in the in the in, in the uh in the in the system that's a lot of stuff man so eventually some they're gonna have to make an example out of somebody and they should start now, man. And this is this is this is just way too much of uh, of stuff in his body. That's where I'm gonna end. It. Thanks, brother. Do I appreciate you, bro? Uh, my Joe, what's your take on this? Yeah, guys. Um, for me, I think it's very disgraceful. Um, some of these athletes sometimes I wonder if they missed their calling. Um, in terms of maybe some of them actually do want to be pharmacists instead of um, being an athlete because I don't understand why you feel that you need to have something in your system so you can have an edge over your opponent. I think it is disgraceful. Um, I've just, um, I'm just looking into that the, the substances now. Um, one of them, Trembolan, so basically, it's an, andro it's an androgen. Um, so it's basically that means it's an anabolic steroids, and it's it's for muscle growth and to to increase and for increase of appetite. So basically, what that means is that it makes you stronger because you build good muscles. Um, you have appetite to eat well. Um, so you're trying to have an edge by being more muscular, by being more stronger. That's what you're trying to do. And the funny thing is that this this particular meds, um, this particular steroid, uh, in the past they've used this steroid to treat women with breast breast cancer and stuff like that. Um, so it's 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 just unfair. It's just unfair to um, it's really unfair on 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 unboxing, um, and it's also unfair on your opponents because. The, the, your opponent is coming in there, you know, um, as a clean athlete, um, giving his best. But you feel that you know you need to, you need to take something else to have an edge. People like that, athletes like that, I I have no respect for them. Um, personally, I think that if you've been caught, um, just the way Jeremy Miller was caught, and the way this guy. Um, was caught, I think that they should ban you for a really long time. I don't even think that a two or three year ban cuts it for me. I think that athletes like this should be banned for a very, very long time, five years. So they can actually learn a lesson and that can set, that can be a precedent for other, other, other athletes as well who might be thinking of cheating because they need to strength, they need to send a strong message out there. You know, that if you are caught, cheating or you're caught trying to cheat you're going to lose your license to fight you're going to lose possibly lose your career you're going to be out of the ring for a really really long time and 
the, the the boxing community needs to come together where it's not a situation where you're banned in one area or in one state or in one country but then you can go to another country or another state to to have a fight and still earn earn some money um it's disgraceful you know um it's been used this drug has been used in the past for physique or performance enhancing purposes you know it's it's unfair you don't want to put in the work but you want to you want to get a victory so you know jim pascal i think is disgraceful it is bad um i think his career now is over because he's 37 years old i just looked it up he's 37 so if he gets a ban for two or three years so that means that you know he'll be about 40 years old um, by the time the ban is over and obviously i don't see how he's able to come back into the sport of boxing at that age you know so it's disgraceful it is really bad um this should be you see this steroid taking and performing enhancing drugs should be eradicated completely from the from the sport of boxing in all honesty um and i'm glad that we you know that vada is out there doing all these testings and you know they should be doing these testings in good time as well like for an example i mentioned earlier um how i suspect tyson fury because of the people he's been hanging out with i think that now um fury's fight against wilder they should start the, the testings like right now they shouldn't give it time where they would have taken all this performing enhancing drug and you know give them enough time for the for the drugs to kind of wear out of their their body and then they go test them they should start testing them right now um uh, deontay wilder should be getting tested from now and I don't believe that Wilder is someone that he doesn't look like someone that would take any performing enhancing drugs anyway. Um, Fury is had the history of that. And I think that, you know, it should be getting tested now from this point. Because if you get these guys early, some of them, a lot of them would have been caught, you know. And look at this guy has been caught now. So it's disgraceful. And I think it should get a really long ban. Very, very long one. That's all I have to say for now. Thanks, brother. I appreciate it a lot. Let's get our brother right here. Let's get him in uh, Adiwale to give his take. Yeah, you know what, um, John Pascal. I I feel like he wasn't really one of the best fighters, okay, of his era, and he's already getting up there in age, being thirty-eight years old or thirty-seven. Thirty-eight years old, and yeah. Yeah, 38. He doesn't have much left in his career. But these are not excuses for him to still take the drugs. Uh, he shouldn't have. And he deserves to get maximum penalty for this, right? Um, I don't know if it's um, the situation got so loud just because it is a Floyd Mayweather event. But I feel like there has been many ped controversies in the past where the perpetrators never really got punished especially in the heavyweight division i, I don't want to go into the names but there are a few guys that have taken pads but they were somehow able to maneuver the system maybe they relinquished their boxing license in the country and go to another territory and begin boxing and nobody says anything they support them you know like my ojo just said he, he was talking about how certain guys i mean certain boxing organizations need to collaborate with others so that if someone has failed a, um, a performance enhancing drug test somewhere the punishment is widespread it not only applies where he failed the test but it should apply everywhere else so that's what i feel like the solution to this problem is because like we all know man the sport is already extremely dangerous you know, you keep taking punches to the head. You could die at any time, right? And then you go ahead, you put stuff into your body that makes you cheat. That, that is just a criminal offense. You know, it's a criminal offense. I don't want to be too harsh on Jean Pascal. I believe the pronunciation is Jean, Jean Pascal. I feel like um, he needs to call it quits, man. He can retire, okay? He doesn't need to continue pushing for... I know these guys are fighting for money. A guy like John Pascal is not fighting for the belt. He's not fighting to prove anything to the world. He's strictly fighting to entertain the fans and make some money. 
But right now that he's put himself in this position, he might as well just call it quits. Okay, I'm not sure which um, boxing organization is sanctioned was supposed to sanction that fight. If it was Nevada, if it was Nevada, obviously he wouldn't be able to fight there any longer because he should get some sort of suspension. If it cuts across to like New York State Athletic Commission or maybe international bodies, then that's good. He needs to serve his punishment. It's not good for you to be a cheat, period. It's just unfair. You're putting too many people's lives at risk and you make the sport look bad. So yeah, I feel like John Pascal needs maximum punishment as well as everybody else. Thanks, brother. I do appreciate it. Well, congratulations to John Pascal for joining the Hall of Fame pharmacist. You know, uh, you know, people who were like, uh, like the, the likes of Jeremy Lai is, is there. You know, this guy has all the whole steroids in the world in the system. A shame, I must say. Stay tuned, guys. <laughs>